Wiz, you can go ahead and cut it. Live from Atlanta, Georgia, welcome to New Jack Thriller City. Come on, y'all, give it up, give it up, give it up. Come on. Y'all give it up for the baddest DJ in the land, DJ Wiz. And give it up for the host with the most delicious London yeah. jaw. Come on now. Thanks, fellas. And she brought the wagon. Thank you. And now on today's episode, man, we got, you know, the incomparable, mighty, mighty, mighty Drew Hill is in the building. What's up, fellas? What's up? What's up? He's my brother partner. Yeah. No, we inside. We inside. We inside. We inside. We inside. We don't, I don't want to be where the new niggas at. We inside today. Right, my bad, my bad, my they ain't bad, killing bad, me. Bad, I'm staying bad, inside. Bad, yeah. Bad, yeah. Bad, yeah. Bad, yeah. Bad, Wherever new niggas is at. Because this is hot land. Yeah, this, yeah, this air conditioning is definitely in here. Yes, it is. I'm you sorry. hear niggas dying from heat strokes. There's a heat wave going yeah. on right now. <laughs> yeah, it's a serious. Oh, yeah. All of y'all niggas are sweaty. Huh? Oh, said, oh, yeah. We just Who's came from Y'all glistening. Y'all, y'all, y'all wet, wet. Yeah, that's <laughs> different. You guys are glistening. Oh, you know, man. Yeah, yeah, and you look good, that's by the way. Right. That's, that's the R&B plays. That's, that's the R&B plays. Yeah, yeah. We just got on stage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we was at the Muggy KOD. You know what I mean? There's a little uh, Muggy in there. Hey, you know man. Hey, man. What makes the KOD Muggy? The booty, 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 all that man the, um, came out. Crab legs and, and yeah, we saw it. It was incredible. Yeah. And man, hey, man, I appreciate y'all going through showing some love and whatnot, man. I can nearly, he couldn't believe that we got y'all there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. Shout out. Out. Man, they treated us like, uh, man, like just, man, that good old Southern hospitality came through and the food came through. And then that ass came through. And that ass came through. And look, and awesome. look, all this at brunch. Yeah, at brunch. Yeah. At brunch. Come on, we gonna need a clap or something. Yeah, that's a lot. You know what I'm saying? So you know, we prayed. So it was the first time I prayed in the strip club. Like, <laughs> so, yeah. Bless Prayer this ass that we're about to receive. Holy <laughs> <laughs> yeah. in righteous name. Let it nourish our bodies and make us strong. Yeah, we're waiting for the book of Titty Nidus right now. Salvation is for everybody. No doubt. For men, women, boys, and girls. Yeah. Yeah. Assinations. You hear me? Amen. Come on. I'm, I'm assinated. <laughs> I'm so assinated. We got to hashtag that. Yeah, assinated. Yes. Yep. Come on. It's a new, it's a new right, shit. Right. I like that. I like yeah. that. Assinated. Come on. Hey, hey man. Yo. Let, let's get right into it, man. I'm, we coming out swinging. Let's talk about verses, man. Who who y'all want to verse? Because I didn't heard a couple of rumors here and there. Right. No, all right, so look, look, look. At first, I talked a lot of shit. A couple people got mad. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you never did. I like that. Okay. But I honestly think at this point that they should just give us the verses like D'Angelo had and let us bring people that we did records with and everything else because the everybody, like... Jagged Edge and 112 went already. You know what I'm saying? And even though people want us to do the Joe to see Drew Hill, I don't want to see Joe to see Drew Hill. I want to see Joe to see Boys and Men, yeah. for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, just let us get up there and do what we do for real and, 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 and let us alone. <laughs> let me lie. Is, does everybody <laughs> feel that way? Oh, yeah. yeah. The smoke yeah. black, well, do you feel that way? Well, well. Like about about verses, do y'all feel the same way that Nokia feels, or y'all want some smoke? I mean, for real, look, it's all what the people want. The people right. probably want the smoke. So I mean, mm -hmm. the thing is, we down with the smoke. I'm okay. right here. So, I'm but right at, here. But at the end of the day, we just <laughs> trying to keep right it respectful here. because, like Nokia said, we grew up <laughs> to Joe to see and boys to me. Uh, look, you know we what did, what look, we did a show with boys and men recently, and Sean walked in the room. He showed sure up with that verse. He showed sure up with that verse. But at the end of the day, we are we are from the generation. Where we respect the niggas that we was trying to be. Yeah. These young That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? These That's good niggas, shit. These young niggas want, like, we'll do a show with, like, a, like an older group. And, like, these younger motherfuckers be like, yeah, y'all fucked up, whoever. I ain't going, you know, whatever. But it'd be like, fuck is wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? Like, we wouldn't be here. That's y'all problem. Y'all think y'all started every goddamn thing. This shit fucking been happening. So, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's like, yeah, people want whatever, but it make more yeah. sense to just be able to bring the art. You know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't trying to get up there. Ain't nobody get, like, them young niggas got up there and talk more shit than they fucking sang, for real. You know what I'm saying? We ain't trying to do all that. We trying to get to the motherfucking nitty gritty of the singing, of the shit that people see us do. So all that, we not rappers. Why fuck we want to be get up? You know, we don't want to do all that goofy shit. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, at the end of the, I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, like Noka said, you know what I'm saying? And tell too, those boys and men, Jodeci, it's like 
an honor. I still, when I see them, still be an eye. You know what I'm saying? Even though, you know what I'm saying? It's a respect. So it ain't never a question of we gonna can we sing with those guys? Cause yeah, be honest, yeah. Yeah, we but but them boys them ain't gonna pull out them instruments and I'm going home. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. <laughs> sing backgrounds with them at that point. Right, right. Yeah. That's, what, that's what it would probably turn into. If we did a verse with boys and men and Joseph, we probably sang more backgrounds. All right. Then, we be there trying yeah. to sing that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But you know what? That's what your fans would want. Because I think mm -hmm. the whole idea of verses is not necessarily to create a disrespect. It's just more so it's like who was really hitting at that time right. when it became, you know, those two people. So can we get the Biggie J? Jay-Z and Nas uh, versus uh, the three-way boys, the men, Joe, seen Drew Hill. Right, right. <laughs> I'm not, I mean, I'm not mad at I'm, that. Hey. I'm not mad. I, I like that a lot. Yeah. Who, who would you like to see uh, versus? Delicious. Oh my goodness. I just sat here. The audience didn't get to hear what I heard <laughs> prior to us. You know, filming. You guys uh, sound amazing. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Like, thank amazing. You. At this point, I think you guys could stand up against anybody. Hey, I mean, anybody in that time. You guys sound good. I would love to see you guys on the stage with a, a voice to men. You know what I'm saying? See, because the secret is we know who can still sing, though. That's, and I didn't want to say that. Right. I didn't, and, and, you know, no disrespect to any of the other, you know, no R&B groups. Right, but I think that, you know, if you guys get up there with voice to men. But it would be great. I think that is just amazing vocal ability. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I'm still like Personally, mm -hmm. I want all the smoke. Right, right. But, <laughs> Is but it because your name smoke? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> but, but, but at the same time, I've never looked at Versus as a competition anyway. Right. Except for that Beanie Man and Bounty Killer joint when the police it's just, came It's in. a great oh, it's oh, a oh, great no, smoke. I thought, I thought you know that was saying? a sad That was a real that, I'm like, if for I, the I, act. So, that, that right, I don't care who it is. The promo's still going to be there. Mm. But I'm That's ready for, you know. I want all the smoke, though. Right. <laughs> I, I'm betting everything on I this. I don't want right, right. smoke. Because somebody's going to end up fighting. And I'm just being right. right. We from Baltimore. You know what? I think that happens <laughs> only when the talent fighting. starts to fall to the left. I think that the talent that you guys possess and the respect that you already stated is there. There'll be a lot of dudes that be talking shit behind our back. So you can't just wake up one day and say, oh, you know what I want to do? Mm. That shit I seen on TV, on BET. You can't do that. A whole right. lot of artists did that. Mm. That's true. We was born this way, nigga. We That's this is true. natural, God given and talent. And that makes the difference. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, let me check this out. This is what this my this my fantasy versus for y'all. All right. So I was watching Tank on Drink Champs, and Tank was going in like it ain't nobody out there that write like me, sang like me, that could take their shirt off, all that <laughs> shit. And blah. He was going in, and I was like, you know what? I want to see. T T G T versus Drew Hill. Why? That shit'll be crazy. You got singers with singers. No, you just said it. It'd be crazy. It would be <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Because yeah. y'all gonna, gonna give each other y'all gonna talk that <laughs> shit, and um, then on top of that, I think collectively they all have enough songs and whatnot oh, to, to go against you guys. Yeah. Okay, that's collectively. Like, right. That's what I meant. Coll collectively, yeah. they got the records. Right. right. So but, now, for know, those who don't know who TGT is, TGT, Genuine, Yep. Uh, genuine Tyrese and don't be no harmony. Wait, cause no, this the part that y'all that that, uh, that y'all don't know. I'm um, smoking black. Wrote a lot of um a lot of uh mm -hmm. a lot of uh, genuine hit. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I'm being that. So okay. you know, you can I'm literally sorry. hear them on yeah, the on some of the reason why it wouldn't be good. Reason why it would be good because there's three individual solo artists versus a group. That's true. So. The, yeah, with the harmonies, and I'm saying that, not saying they could not do the harmonies because they could, but I'm just saying for them to come out and go against guys that we, that's what we do is harmonies and sing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tank just know. gave it up to Drew Hill on this uh, past uh, episode of R&B Money. He was talking on with uh, Nick Young. He was saying that uh, um, th that was one of the, the first real shows where he became Tank yet, and he said y'all tore it down and y'all was on the show with. Uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony, G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was on tour, like that was one of our first big tours, and Tank was singing background for Aaliyah, and you know, like he was like, I'll be joking a lot, you know, whatever, I'll be talking shit, but at the end of the day, like Tank was a sponge back then. No, you know what I'm saying? He was, he was a sponge. He was like, 
you know, finding his way. He was out there singing his ass off and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, everything yeah. that he got right now, like, he was around everybody that he was supposed to be around to get, you know, where he is now. Shout out to Tank. I got the pleasure to work on his first album. He definitely um, earned it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Talented. Earned it. And he, and, he, and he can sing like a motherfucker. Well, how, about, how, about, how about Drew Hill and Bone Thugs and Harmony verse? Man, <laughs> no, I don't Who really want to see that. Who throwing bottles with Busy? Yo, I like, yo, I've been to that show, and man, you be forgetting how many hits they got to they yeah. break yeah. them joints out. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that show. And they sing, good. huh? Yeah, they got a harmony. They was harmonizing. Yeah, but it wouldn't be. Yeah, yeah. they were, they were game changers. changers. No, they could. They're dope in their lane. I just Look, think that that's two different now. giants. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, no, when you when y'all was on tour with them, did you like? They was talking. Uh, Nick Young had said, "What was Bone Thugs and Harmony doing on the um oh, they had R&B big tour?" No, no they had, we was on that tour. But you got to figure when we went on that tour, that's when like Crossroads and all right. that stuff was yeah. like they was like the biggest thing yeah, in the world. Like, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Now, too. because you also had Buster Rhymes on that tour. You know what I'm saying? So it was like it was like hip hop and R&B. You know, yeah. the mel- yeah. melodic type shit. Yeah, right. But that just goes to tell you the shows that be, that Drew Hill be on for right. real. We right. be the only R&B right. group there around some right. shit that we ain't even got no business being in for real. <laughs> oh, what's no. the you know what's what the oddest show y'all done been on? Like, what, like, hold on, what? what Drink champs. Let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> No. That was an odd yeah. show. That yeah. was an odd show. We need to go back on that. No, you want to get right in there. We walked in there like, we what the hell? Oh. Yes, yeah, yeah. I took him on Drink Champ. I mean, like, I literally, we walked in the room. It was like, no, yeah, you got baby. I'm like, look, right. man, look. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> we, was in the, we was in the hood. We was in the middle of the hood. Luckily, we from Baltimore. Yeah, we yeah, yeah. It, we, we knew everybody. Yeah, we knew everybody. Yeah, yeah. 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 Songs with people oh, wow. there and everything. Yeah, corrupt. Uh, yeah, who was it? Tony Yayo. Was no, it? but you guys yeah. are actually really different. connected to hip hop. One of my favorite songs. It's not on your yeah. album, but it was Foxy Brown. Mm-hmm. It was oh, yeah, Big Bad, Bad Mama, I believe oh, yeah. it was. Hey. That up, is. Baby. I listen to that now. Hey, like, that's what's yeah, like we're because of you guys right, being right. on that, y'all right. still, yeah, that was hot. Yeah, that was one of our Shout out to Def Jam. Shout back out to in Def the day, Jam. Back Street. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That was one of the first. For real, we were in. I remember we were in Miami, mm-hmm. and um, they called us up and it was like. Yo, we want you on um, this Foxy record, Chris Lighty, God Rest His Soul, you know what I'm saying? Took us in the studio that night. We cut the hook, and the, and the rest of the history. Shout out to Misa, you know, we had that style. Yeah, the video, the lyrics, everything, that was just, like, seamless. That's, like, mm-hmm. really hot. Yeah. 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 Dig, dig, dig. Hey, um, let me ask you, uh, we finna, like, pivot for a second and whatnot. I, w- I want to talk about, you know, R&B singers and, you know, Coming coming from your feelings when uh, um, a lot of people look at R and B singers as being soft. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, but a lot of people up. don't know it. No, a lot of niggas thought. Yeah. A lot of niggas. Yo, you might have been the first R and B thug. You no, know, I always <laughs> say that for real. R and B like people don't understand. You think about it. Like yeah. like yeah. we really be a little more crazier so, and all the other words you want to throw. Under that and like a lot of rappers, like a lot of rappers, they be having like a deal from around that way. They'll be like, man, my man just came home from jail and you're going to make him security. And they be dealing with like all that stuff. So they don't really, like I ain't saying all of them not because I also say like it's a lot of rappers that ain't rappers for real. You right. know, leave them alone. Okay. But we, we, we always like, we come from emotions. So you getting like real all the time. Like when you hear all the old school stories, you know, it was the R&B singers. We was pulling out the knives and. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, you that's know? crazy. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Look, I'm going to just say I'm this. Like, no, no, this, this is a lesson to the youngins, man. Like, don't take humbleness yeah. for softness. Man. Please yeah. don't do that. I didn't seen a lot of people get the yeah. frame to yeah. offer them because, yeah. yeah, I mean, they thought this cat yeah. was humble. And, I mean, it was soft because they was laid back and humble and got the first. So, to all you young motherfuckers, take heed. <laughs> we ain't the <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. motherfuckers. Like this, is, this is black. Let's say it like this. At the end of the day, I'm a I'm a man, right? Right. Fuck all that singing shit. You know what I'm saying? If you don't handle me as a man, it's gonna be a problem. And it's, it's I mean, I mean but what's wrong with I, I don't like the word soft because I'm sure that a man doesn't want to be you know called no, soft. Like but what's real? wrong with y'all actually being connected to your emotions well, I mean, and being black? We gotta teach him balance, man. What's connected to being light skin? 
That depends on when you were born. That's the end of the movie. Yeah. No, this is what I'm saying. No, this is what I'm saying. That depends on when you were born. That's the end of the movie. That's the end of the movie. Thank y'all for tuning in to this bullshit. The origin of soul. Because you know, we had, you know, yeah. we had, yeah. uh, we had Al Black B. history lesson. We had Al B. Shaw. True. Al B. Shaw was the beginning of urban R&B for us. You know what I'm saying? So it still wasn't all the way cool to be a to be a singer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like singing became cool in the street when Jodeci came because everybody could relate. To what they look like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? What they was like, it was that like, was more authentic. To, yeah, like they used to come around my way, and we'd get off the bus, and I'd be like, "Yo, y'all can't sing till we get in the house." Exactly. Right. Because I don't know what these niggas is gonna do, right, y'all. Right, right. And I'm not walking y'all back to the bus stop. It was serious <laughs> like that for singers. Not for me. Not me. No, but okay. you was the but. You was you from, was, you was well, from it was a different group. Yeah, 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 with yeah. us, it was, with, yeah. right. we was kind of always boys. weird. Side you know what I mean? Boy. And I don't mean weird in a bad way, but like we was always just creative, like some other talented people. Something you know different. what I'm saying? So it was like they, we was the dudes that they would get twenty dollars to and be like, leave them alone. They're gonna be somebody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, really? You know what I'm like, I'm mm -hmm. Hey, Black. Let me tell you something, man. You you told me this story like before we had went on Drink Champs. I'm mean, sorry, not the Drink Champs, but 85 South. And what was so crazy about it, that same week, same episode of Drink Chance when Tank went on there, he had corrupt, he had corrupt. Uh, the story. This, yeah, it was the same shit that Black had just said right. like a couple of days before <laughs> about genuine. Wait, really? Oh. Yes. Tell tell them the uh, this genuine, this shit is so funny. Wait, is it? Tell <laughs> about genuine being able to whoop your ass. Oh, yeah. Uh, listen, yeah. listen, G's from DC. I call it G. That's my, that's my, my big brother, you know what I'm saying? Basement crew, um, it was my, my big brother, you know what I'm saying? Right. I was blessed to work on a lot of his albums, um, a lot of his projects. But Genuine used to box. Really? Yeah. You get that you get that pretty hair shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that baby hair. Don't, don't get that baby hair twisted. And he'll, he'll bust your ass on some real shit. Wow. <laughs> I've never heard of him having any problems, so. Hey, hey, he, Black said Genuine hit this nigga and the Holy Ghost popped out of him. <laughs> <laughs> was, I, we were standing, we were standing in Rochester, man, and it was some funny shit, right? I can't tell the whole story, but the motherfucker basically was was coming in front of the um the, the apartment building, finding it himself. You feel me? Wow! In front of in front of the um in front of sister and uh, and, uh, and um sugar's oh disrespect uh, room. So if we can get out there, G was already out there, and I'm swear he hit that dude so hard, man. Uh, Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Happened. Word to Jimmy. Hey, he had, had an out of body experience. Yeah, yeah. His whole life had changed. Yeah, his body. <laughs> his <whole> life had <laughs> <changed>. <laughs> 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 it wasn't any more room for you in them jeans. They knocked him right out of jeans. <laughs> oh shit! But you know. You think us, you, you said some earlier delicious about tapping into your uh, uh, DJ Wiz be only with himself. It is not so much being soft, but you be a little bit more um um depending on what situation you in. You know what I'm saying? Right. You in the room with, with some goons, you you know, if you was you know, cat like me, you gonna be on your shit, you gonna be your head gonna be on swivel. But if you're in the presence of a lady, you gonna you gonna soften up a little bit. You know Let me tell you my era, well, I was born in seventy eight. Damn, a bitch is old. But duh. Stop it. Ooh. So <laughs> that was fly to us. And then not only that, y'all literally get his ass whooped. No. <laughs> but y'all literally I mean, you guys Nigga. being able to You done got a lot of niggas ass whooped. Wow. And y'all lyrics, even Tank, he was like, should I grab you by your throat or chase you down the street? Y'all didn't come off even soft sometimes in y'all lyrics. Y'all got to the, he said, let me see that thong. Y'all were very direct. And tear you up like so Reese's Pieces? Come on, Yeah, there, like, so y'all had the R&B thing going on, but y'all still let us know that y'all was like some real niggas, so. Oh, okay. That was a balance. Right. That we don't have that balance now. Everything is raw. It's like oh, it's no. different now. Come here, girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I miss the balance. Throw babies and all that. Like, what they say? Old school R&B versus the new, and then the new one was like, um, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Give me some pussy. Give me some pussy. pussy. Let me ask you something. They so straightforward with it. They so straightforward with it. Pussy, 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 pussy. Watch how many drinks for pussy, pussy, pussy. And it works. Yeah. And it works. You you don't have to lie no more. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna tell you what happened. Please lie. Please lie. I'm gonna tell you what happened. Hey, let me hold. I'm gonna tell you what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened, man. This is black. I'm gonna tell you what happened. They stopped playing slow songs in the club. They stopped playing slow songs in the club. Wow. Now the whole motherfucking club is is it's drill, you know, it's music where it make a nigga won't do something to another motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Even when you watch club. porn, it be... Well, hold up, mama. Uh, <laughs> yeah! So porn is reckless now, yeah. too. Hey, well, hold up. Excuse me, Stephen. No, yeah, what did you say that? You want to know. The people want to know. Come on, Nokia. Don't be quiet now. What's the porn soundtrack? Uh, what's that? Yeah, what's the soundtrack? What you been watching, Nokia? We didn't hear. What's the porn soundtrack? Yeah. I've got this feeling. No, no. Everything be hard, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, yo, everything, be, everything hard nowadays. Like, mm. ain't no soft love. That's Let true. me say this, though. I got to say this, though. We, we in the A, right? And I think Miss Betty Wright, ain't she from, is she from here? No, I, I think, no, no, no. I don't think. Right. I, yeah, I don't think she's from here. Um, she from. I think she from Midwest. Oh, better right. Yeah, that, that, oh, that's, 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 that's the clean up woman, I'm, right? No, I meant Millie Jackson. Millie Jackson. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Delicious. Big. From, I, I'm from Detroit. Detroit. Yeah, she from yeah. Detroit. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I'm just. I'm just saying. I got to shout out Millie Jackson because, like, I used to sneak and listen to her records when we was little. So all this raunchy shit that's going on now is, you know, it's like nothing under the sun to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shout out to Miss Millie Jackson. Thank you, baby. For no. not, she she made me brave enough to like be, you know, vulgar in my lips <laughs> if I have to. You have to. Can I say something? This is black again. I want to say. Okay, let me say. Let me say. It's not that. It's not that I want to say. You know what I'm saying? We feel the same. We feel the same way y'all do about the pussy. You feel me? It, we just we just tend to use a different route to to, to write about it. You know what I'm saying? And that was dope. They lie about it. Yeah, 100. percent um, yo, so check this out. Delicious. You had you were saying something earlier about Cisco and the, rela the re your relationship with thongs and the. Um... Yeah, you guys are very influential. Girls really don't like thongs really? because it's a string it up ass. your ass, especially if you got a big one. You made us want to wear hey, thongs. That's, that's good money. And we yeah. wanted to show them. Yeah, like, yeah that's what's up. Because like, we all love them. Yes. <laughs> Yes, that used to I, be. Like I was telling you, I wrote, a a, I, I wrote this song about a girl from Detroit. So really, the yeah. thong. See? Well, she was born. Yeah. I didn't know that. They, Let me. T I told Jack. I, I was like, was he's the reason why I started wearing thongs. Yeah, yeah. 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 It is. Wow. You're welcome. Thongs yes. Thank you. Like, hmm, what part of these draws can I cut out? <laughs> hey, hey, Cisco. <laughs> you know, you know. Today, <laughs> all bullshit aside, this this ain't no joke. I'm watching P Valley, and they made a Cisco reference. Yeah. I saw that because they uh, DM me. <laughs> it, it was it was some it was a you were icon it bro was a, it was a, uh, a the, the scene was a little special. yeah the scene was I, but I, hey it could be played anyway yeah that was, yeah one hundred percent story yeah one hundred yeah yeah it's still dope that, it's a, this was the hottest show on TV right now it's a dope reference you're still relevant is yeah. the point hey, like well, you guys will always be relevant what we was but. saying the other day Jack when I was saying to you we was in the room and I told Cisco I said yo we get to stand in a room with somebody that sold ten million records absolutely. Bro. That's like something that's unheard of. There's only a couple oh, names on that list. Connect. You know what I'm saying? So the one right like, together. Right, right. And, 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 and. What was the rest? Because I got this wine. Was, you feed me this wine and stuff. I can't remember the everything. The doll. <laughs> I had the, you, you had maybe reminded me about the doll. I had bought the Cisco Oh, doll. yeah, and the, the doll. doll. I took yeah. it under my bed. Yeah, Talk yeah, about yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't want nobody to see the doll. <laughs> Yo, but he was. He was so fly. Somebody, somebody that even got stole the doll from me. Somebody stole the doll? Somebody stole my my Cisco doll. How many people can say that they know? That, that, that homeboy, that brother, and a nigga huh? that got a World Music Award. Come on, man. Whoa, that's big. That's Come big. on, man. Hey. Yeah. Come on, man. Hey, 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 hey. Like, I got to say this. Come on, come on now. Cisco dyeing his hair. 
blonde. I was just about to say that. I gotta say this. Look, now all of the youngins doing what, what Shorty been Everybody doing. Everybody doing it. Come Platinum. on, y'all give this man his props, man. Yeah. yeah. Talk, yo. yeah. That's somebody really? doing it. Yeah, hey, talk. you ain't about that because it don't work for everybody. It, no, no, it, it, it didn't work for me. me. <laughs> it didn't work for me. That's why I'm like this now. Yeah, me neither. You gotta have a like a yeah. face to go with that shit. Right. My, my face is when blonde ready, yeah. and your face got to be blonde ready for and that my shit. My face wasn't bald ready, but. Thank you. All I right. mean, we learned, you know, we learned. But I, I gotta actually, what what made you comfortable with that? Um, man, when I did that, it was a uh, I saw I saw Misa. In Biggie, oh, wow. in Biggie's video. Yes, mm. yes. One more chance. Yeah. When, when he you was tell like, your friends. Getting yeah. with them in the... To get with my friends. The ponytails. It, no, yeah. And we and could be I friends. Was like, and at the time, I was um I was dating a girl who was... I was a freshman in high school, and she was a uh, upperclassman. Mm, you was um, getting molested. Yeah, hey, <laughs> hey, you know, th that normally don't happen. Don't know ninth grade to be like, you know, but pulling the question, the, the question was... What? It was you getting molested. Oh, no, no, yeah. No, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't press charges. No, what, ha what had happened was, so we ended up breaking up. As in the Statue of Limitations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we ended up breaking up, and so my heart was Your mama had broke y'all up. Broken. No, no. I, I, we ended up getting back together. But at this time, we had broken up, and so in that moment, I, did, I didn't want to be, I, I, I was so heartbroken, I didn't want to be marked no more. Mm. Oh shit! He said, "Them, them older the women to put it on you, bro." <laughs> I know, them right? Them older women to put it on you. Know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Give, it yeah. Yeah. give it up for that shit. Give it up for Cisco saying this way on that. First time on your show, Jack. Come on now. Ignore this shit. Come on now. You say real name. My fuck be like, my fuck nigga be like. <laughs> Nigga, you better not ever call me that. Unless you're the cops. More Cisco fun facts. The Cisco shakedown. Yeah, mm. you had your own TV show. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, tell we, us about what Cisco Shakedown consisted of. How was, was you awesome. even approached by that? It was awesome. We um, uh, thanks to it was Julie, right? Uh, Julie Greenwald. Yeah, Greenwald. Oh, sorry. Helped me um to get that. Yeah, don't fuck that name up, boy. That's right, right. <laughs> she had helped me to uh, get that show, and we used to come on after TRL mm. on on MTV, yep. and um, man, the the ratings. I was, you know, TRL was the show and, until Cisco Shakedown. Okay. My ratings started giving them the business. So mm, I'm like, mm, mm. And that's when they retired the whole show because Cisco Shakedown like, was killing the ratings. Wow. And that's how I got the second season. And then, you know, The Matrix happened. <laughs> Come on now. Because The Matrix is always going to happen. Right. So what's The Matrix? That's, that's you know, when you might have said the wrong thing to the wrong <laughs> person. Mm -hmm. And, and you then realize it. And then right, right. Like, Man, everybody ooh. can kiss my ass. Right. And then all of a sudden, everybody in this shit. Then then all of a sudden, you know, you 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 disappear. And it's like, well, what what happened to Cisco? He fell off. Like then I don't mean I can still do what I do. Right. Um, I didn't. You know, I ain't pee on nobody. Or, <laughs> no. oh, we know about. I'm just saying, right. it's ways to get on the blacklist. It's ways to pee on do. people. I did it in the house. So you people. pee on the butt, you, they, they, they got to be facing forward. You know they what? Done. Okay. We sorry. might need cut to look a commercial. Look at <laughs> yeah. But I'm just saying, you can. It's ways to get on the blacklist. Who the fuck is yeah. weird? And I, I, I think I said the wrong thing to the right. Well, basically, I own my own master. Good. I think I was freeing way too many slaves, mm. and they had to. Prove a point. Mm. Well, I'm glad you said that because a lot of people would have just said, "Oh, well, Cisco fell off." And and when you think about it, well, his talent didn't change. So how is that possible? So you were blacklisted at some point. Absolutely. Why well, didn't you ever talk about it? Yeah, because I was blacklisted. They, <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't let you talk. They cut you off. You know, motherfucking man, you can say what you want to. Yeah. Ain't nobody gonna see it. They just, yeah, they just. That's take, true. They hey, just did, take, what, did you have they your take the mic from friends? Friends? I had no, no, no. We learned from Prince too on my own masters. So, wow. so when I did my solo album, um, I own my own masters. And when I when I went and got the check for that album, I made sure that everybody in the group got paid. Hey, Y'all give it up for that. Give it up for that. I ain't get nothing. No, I'm <laughs> hey, what's up? This your boy Jack Thriller, man. Hey, we're back for a whole nother segment of Love According to Music Soul Child. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I got something that's. Uh, it just came up on the '85 South show. Okay. I was talking to Carlos and Delicious and whatnot, and I was telling them how uh, I got married the last time. Mm. And um, 
the woman that I was with, she got down on one knee and she proposed to me. Interesting. And they said that I was a bitch ass nigga oh, for that. Whoa, whoa. That's what I said. <laughs> That's what I said. Wait a minute. <laughs> well, how am I, how am I wrong for being chosen <laughs> and accepting being chosen? Does that make me any less of a man uh, not, because a woman chose me? Not necessarily. Um, so I think these traditions are intended to align with, you know, uh, certain parties doing certain things, right? So, I mean, I know I'm, I'm, I'm running the risk of, you know, being in the vicinity of, you know, uh, misogyny and chauvinism and all, whatever you want to call it. I, but there is, there is just a, a traditional understanding of the order of things, you know? So now I'm not passing judgment either way, you know? That's not, that's not my place to do. But to your question, I don't think that it makes you less of a man per se. However, it's, you know, um, it's been uh, an, an, an ongoing... Traditional? Yeah, conventional? Yeah, yeah, convention. That's the word I'm looking for. Thank you. Uh, for it to be the other way, you know? Now, we live in new times. People do stuff different, you know? But understand that there is an inherent trickle-down of events that come from how you do certain things, you know? So, for instance, well, let me ask you a question. How did that marriage turn up? Exactly. So my point is things, I think, were designed to go a certain way to ensure and secure a certain outcome. Now, you, what you're asking, though, is how does that make you? I don't think, again, like I said, I don't think that it necessarily makes you any less of a man. However, you did, whether you understood it or not, you did take the passive. You did. Because Otherwise, you would have proposed. Now, you may have done that, and you correct me if I'm wrong, you may have done that because it didn't matter to you. You was like, I, want, I, I was gonna do that anyway, so she beat me to it, so good luck. I mean, that, same outcome, why not? But behaviors, they tell you a little bit about who the person actually is. She was operating out of the masculine. She was being aggressive because that's what she felt she needed to do in order to secure you. But I don't think that that's how it's intended to go. We are the ones who get to choose the relationship because that's the relationship, ultimately the family and the household that we are expected to lead. So I think we should get a say on how that goes. Hey, um, music, first off, I want to start here. All right, so the the fact that my marriage didn't uh, turn out well, I don't think her getting on one knee and proposing to me had anything to do with that. Okay, what would you attribute it to? I, well, first off, let me tell you something. I'm a great catch. I didn't say that you weren't. But I want you to know. Which is why I said it doesn't necessarily make you any less of a man. A 100%. Yeah, that's what I led with. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. You led with love. Yeah, I led yeah. with love. And, and, and so I, 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 um, I look at a woman when she does things like that, mm -hmm. is that she like, I recognize a good thing and I don't want to lose this. I understand that. But still, there is a, there is a already tried and true order of things and that's that way for a reason. So I think certain things, in my opinion, in my observation, things are designed to... You ever to... heard the, the, this, this song? Now the world don't move to the beat of okay. just one drum. I also, saw, I also said everybody has their own ways of doing things. Okay. I'm with you, bro. Okay. That, it's baked into my whole point. Okay. But my ultimate point is things that work, work for a reason. It worked in history is popular. No, a lot of this isn't popular. It just works because it's like a cliche. A cliche is a cliche for a reason. It's not because it's popular. It's because it resonates and it stood the test of time. So if you're dealing with a person who's willing to, if you are as a man is dealing with a woman who's willing to take the aggressive 
then just understand that that's the type of person that you're dealing with. I'm not saying anything is wrong with I it. I like aggressive women. I like cool. a woman that can handle herself. Okay, but what you don't want is, is a woman who thinks that she can handle you. And I don't mean in take whatever comes with, no, try to handle you, as in control you, manipulate you, be what she wants you to be, instead of accepting you for who you are. And that tends to be consistent with aggressive, not just aggressive women, aggressive people. It's a control issue. So, yes, you may be a catch, but in that scenario, under those circumstances, it, it would have been best served for her to just recognize that and allow you to choose her. Are you trying to say I got catfished? No, because you saw what she looked like. I saw what she looked like, but just because I saw what you she looked like. You, you might have got emotion fished. Mm. Or mind fished. Understood. Yeah. Understood. Hey, music. I, I I accept everything you just said, and um, I'm gonna take it into account. Uh. Um. I'm gonna disagree to agree. Hey, you're more than welcome to do so. These are only opinions and observations that I have. I could be wrong. Cause hey, man, I ain't gonna even front music. Mm. I. I really want that to happen to me again. Okay, then but, that's your preference. Yeah. That's what you like, and you are entitled to that. Yeah. My only thing is, I'm just giving you my observation of the potential of what you should expect. Okay. When it comes or possibly to- possibly expect. Possibly, no, it might not happen. It might not happen. But a woman that's willing to get down in front of a man and propose to him, that's pretty aggressive. Not saying that's a wrong, it's a bad thing. I'm just saying that's pretty aggressive. Because what if I couldn't afford the wedding ring? That's, that's, and, but she can. Has nothing to do with the, with the gesture. Mm -hmm. You know, I think the gesture was designated for a man to do. Hey, music, are you dating anyone right now? Currently, no. Okay. Now, if you were dating someone and you were getting inside of a serious relationship, mm -hmm. and, you know, I'm pretty sure you didn't have this conversation with this, this lady okay. about her getting down on one knee. Because okay. it's not a regular thing mm -hmm. that people just bring up. Right. right? Mm -hmm. as, as being that you actually are, uh, you know, who you are, public figure and whatnot, I, 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 if a woman actually came to you and that you were interested mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. and she got on one knee and proposed to you, mm -hmm. you would just, you would be like, all right, this is aggressive, but I'm going to go ahead and say no, even if I do feel like this might be the one, this, this is the one, this is my person. Well, honestly speaking, I don't know what I would do in the moment because that moment it's not happening, and I've never experienced that before. Okay. I'm just talking about my perspective on what's going on. I'm, I'm essentially telling you what would be going on inside my mind. Gotcha. Like, this is pretty aggressive. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about this. Mm -hmm. I don't want to, you know, embarrass this woman and just say no, because I think that she's coming from a place of love, and she really means what, she, what she's doing. Mm -hmm. I could just entertain it and be like, yeah, but I, I probably might go behind that and be like, this ain't official until I propose to you. Love now, I'll, I'll accept this because right? this is cute. Okay. I'm not taking nothing away from it. I appreciate it. But, but just because the way I'm set up, it's always going to be an issue until I resolve this within myself. And I need for you to allow me to do what I need to do for me. Mm -hmm. But again, hypothetical. Never been in that situation. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just talking right now. Man, hey, listen, I love everything you just said, okay. and you answered my question definitely. Cool. Yo, this is Love According to Music. I'm Jack Thriller. I'll see you next time. You wasn't there yet. <laughs> you was in the future. I was the only nigga that showed up to your studio. That's, that's true. Wow. I, I told the whole group, hey, man, I'm going to do this album. Let's, uh, you know, anybody got songs, I'm putting the album together. And no showed up. No, what happened was we were supposed to all show up for the album and nobody showed up. <laughs> <laughs> and then everybody just started showing up for everybody else shit. Right. <laughs> wow. Talk about support. So did you feel like that after that you didn't want to get back into music? It was after I met Michael Jackson, that's when it was like... Whoa. You see what he did to you? You can't just... <laughs> you know you're going to have to elaborate. Yeah, right. yeah, Michael, Michael Jackson had uh, apparently <gasps> wanted to meet me, which... Um, was insane for me because me, myself and a lot of other artists got into the industry because of Michael. Like when I saw, I think I was like two years old or something, when I saw Michael do the moonwalk and I, 
like something clicked. I was like, that's that's what I want to do. Right. And so, you know, fast forward to uh, my, I was working on my solo album. Had just came back from Japan, and um, I was working with uh, I was working with Teddy Riley. And Teddy Riley was with Michael, and uh, Teddy did my first single on my second album. And he was talking uh, as he was working on it. Uh, Ted, uh, Michael wanted to know who the song was for. He said it was for me. And so he was like, I want to meet him. Mm -hmm. And so we had just got off the plane. I get a call. He was like, yo, Michael want to meet you. And I was like, uh, wow. well, I can't, I can't just leave my boy here. Br bring your boy. Bring your, bring your hat. Bring everything. <laughs> Michael want to meet you. I was like, all right, straight. We hops back on the plane. Let me hold on, Cisco. Let me ask you what you was doing. What was you doing at that time that Michael, they say Michael Jackson said he want to meet you? Right. What was I? I was practicing what yes, I was going to say to him when I finally met him. But you stopped everything. Oh, absolutely. And you went to go and meet Michael Jackson, didn't you? He, he was playing top golf. Oh, wow. Huh, Jack? Yeah. He was a top golf. He dog. stopped everything, yep, Jack. Everything. And he Every went to go and see Michael mm, Jackson. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I would have did it. I, I would have missed my grandma's funeral. Oh, yeah. Right there. I so, so we go down there. I'm practicing. She gonna what, still be dead. You know. I'm practicing what I'm gonna say when I meet him. <laughs> hey, Mister Mister Jack. I, I, like I, I had you a don't know what you're gonna say. Speech, <laughs> right? She <laughs> gonna still be dead. <laughs> so, yeah. so they end up um, shutting down the highway just so the motorcade that that escorted me from. What from, highway? Motorcade. Uh, it was a it was a high um, the highway that was uh, leading I mean, to where in, he like was. I mean, like in L.A. No, no, no. This was we. Uh, he was in uh, Virginia. What was it? Um, no, it was Virginia Beach. Wow! And they uh, shut down the highway. They shut down so the highway. In. They we got like a police escort all the way to Michael to where he was, and he was in his trailer. That's some Obama shit. Right. Yeah. Right. He's in his trailer with the with uh, his kid. <laughs> and so and so um the uh I pull up, I walk in there and they was watching Bambi or something. Um it was a uh, uh, blanket and um print, uh They had a blanket. No, no, That's blanket the baby's was name? the baby. <laughs> name. Oh, oh, oh. I'm the biggest Michael Jackson fan in the world. Hey man, this yeah, ain't about right, his kids. Right. You got, you got got my, shit, your name. my shit with him it ain't got nothing to do with his kids. <laughs> No, no. I don't even really count them as his kids. It was Paris. It was Paris and Blanket. Yeah. Paris and, and Blanket. And they, they were watching Bambi. Mm -hmm. And the movie had uh, just went off. And then uh, the nanny put him to sleep. Mm. And then uh, Michael nanny. came from the back uh, of, the, of the trailer. And I walked up to him. And I forgot the whole speech. I just said, what's up, Mike? And so wow. I gave him a pound. And yo, he gave me like, it was like a, like a real nigga. Like, and he was like firm. He wasn't frail. Yeah, I heard his voice is not his even voice light. His voice is a little deeper too, right? Yeah, they said his voice is like. What's up, Cisco? What's up, Cisco? Yeah, like, what up, Cisco? Like they, they never, they never gave no work in their life. Uh, you shake a lot of these rap niggas. Say to be like, nigga, let my hand go. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Voice now, nigga. Yeah. Wrong with yeah. you? Nigga, hand is ovulating this shit. Nigga, it's fucking wrong. You got my hand pregnant. <laughs> you hear me? R and B guys, though, they got the. No, you got. Yeah. You got it. Cause, 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 yo, that, that was like that <laughs> was just love. We like always that. got like the like rappers. You can send a song out. To, you know what I'm saying, DJ. People all we always got to get in front of people and prove that we mean what we saying. So you know what I'm saying. You gotta. So he he did, and I said I was like, hey man, what um. I was like, man, it's a pleasure to meet you. You the reason, you know, we all doing our own, like our own Michael Jackson impression. Like every mm -hmm. R&B artist is doing it. We like fake Michael Jackson, you know what I mean? <laughs> what made you want to meet me? And he was like, I, I think you're extremely talented. You're going to go far in this business. Wow. That was a mic drop moment for me. I was like, wow. well, fuck it. If I never come out again. Yeah. 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 For Michael Jackson, yeah, that's yeah, And that's crazy. when I disappeared. It was 2001. Hey, hey, but let me ask you this though: What was the speech? Do you remember the speech that you prepared that you never said? <laughs> nah, because I, I, once you, when I when once you you know see you know yeah. some somebody that you pattern your whole group, at, I mean your whole thing after, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Uh, just doing the best. He set a standard of excellence, and mm -hmm. just you know when he was singing with his brothers, I always. Equated that to when I sing with 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 uh, Drew Hill and then wait, we, wait, I'm glad you said that right there because this is a question for everybody. How do y'all feel when y'all hear people make Michael Jackson comparisons? 
Wait. To who? To, pe- to anybody. Yeah, anybody. Just mm. know. Stop it. Anybody. Yeah, just stop. 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 Like, if Michael was here right stop. now, who could he be in a versus with? Nobody. 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 Not even Prince if Prince was Maybe here. Prince, no. Yeah, Prince. No. 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 Michael and Prince. No. That would be the only person. No. No. That would be the only person. You don't think that Michael and Prince? You remember Prince was dancing and shit back in the day. Yeah, he was dancing. I got to say this too, though. You know what I mean? Vocally, hold on. I got to say this, though. I'm probably Prince wasn't selling out stadiums. What? Yeah, he was selling out stadiums. Yeah, he was selling out stadiums. Prince wasn't selling out stadiums. He wasn't selling out stadiums not in the by himself. He was opening for Rick James back then. Not in the beginning, he wasn't. But Prince but not in the end, he wasn't. But I got to say, oh, in the end, he was. No, stadiums. No, no, Prince. Well, but Prince. Well, but no, he like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Coliseums. Like, col- mm. Coliseum type shit. Well, we met Prince too. I don't know, Nokia. Oh, you the Prince, you the Prince expert. Yeah, I already said no, it. He, he, was well. out, he was selling out arenas. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, 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 you ready? You ready? Yeah. Uh, okay. Can I, should I do it to him? Yeah, go ahead. All right, cool. All right, so Michael Jackson holds the record for selling out a uh, seventy thousand seater, no, so seventy thousand seater, um, seven thousand seater arenas. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, um, what's the bigger than the seat? It's Coliseums. Coliseums. Oh. Five times, oh. five times by himself. No opening acts, none of that shit. Oh, no, he wild. could do that if he did it a whole week. But Prince could do the whole show by himself. Yes. I was just about to say this. I don't think that it's not because he couldn't do it. What I'm saying is Prince would get up that motherfucker and play every motherfucking instrument on that bitch and sing your song. Yeah, Yeah. and you know, I would go see Sade like that. I seen him three times. And she's a female. I would go see Sade by herself a whole week. (laughs) He stopped singing them for years. He came back around. When he went and did did his spiritual journey, it was like certain shit he said he wasn't going to fucking sing no more. Yeah. I mean, we could have a whole other show if you want to go Prince Michael Jackson. They're two different artists. And, 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 let me ask you this, jazz. Now, as a group, now y'all got a bunch of songs that you do that is your set show, and it's a bunch of stuff that you don't do, and then it's stuff that people ask you to do. Now, what is your take on that? And what's how how how, how do y'all prepare and put together shows? And would you ever do what a prince would do? Well, I think well, what what we do now is pretty much give the crowd what they expect, mm-hmm. what they grew up to. You know what I mean? Because like. We started watching the crowd perform. I mean, their, their re- reaction to our performances, and it's more so what takes them on the journey while they're in the audience. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's how we choose our records. But do I feel that we still have like big records that was on the album? Hell yeah. Yeah, but you know I don't I mean? like that as a fan. N- no, not, I'm nothing against y'all. When I, I go to the concert, so we can go home. Right? Yes, I'm like, you hit, you <laughs> let me get a, you know affiliated with that uh-huh. before you go into that. Play it during the intermission when you're not actually performing. You listen to all them songs on the way to the concert. Right, right. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you want to yeah. hit those moments, but you guys were an exception because mm. there are a lot of artists who are the exception to the rule because their albums are just like that. And because you're so melodic and talented, it's like a beginning to the end. So it's a you journey. Yeah. It's so journey. we could listen to songs that did not go journey. on the radio <laughs> from you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody journey. can't do that. I don't like that in concerts. And, and, and we sing. Right. We They're singing right. for real. Sing that's, the hits, that's the thing. That's right. Like, sing the hits. The music cut off. We still singing. You know what I'm saying? And this this yeah. not no shot at nobody else that's doing what they do. You shoot. You know what I'm saying? That's I shoot I ain't shooting at nobody. That's what you're doing. I'm going to feed my daughter how I've been feeding my daughter. But at the end of the day, <laughs> like, we sing for real. And that's what's not being given today. You know, it's like mm-hmm. everybody, like I've been to concerts where like people, you think you're going to get a concert and they like lip singing the whole joint. Mm. You kind of respect it. You respect it because at a certain point as an artist, mm. you know, a lot of people like may have mm. a lot of work. So you don't want to really spend too much of your, your vocals. Like, you know, if you constantly on the road. So I get that part. But the thing about it is, man, we, we hit the road. Pound. No, but see, it's you a different, like these dudes don't even like, for real, like if you know how to sing, mm-hmm. you know how to adjust a song, mm-hmm. you know, depending on how you feel right then. So it's like, maybe it's a certain riff you're not going to do. Maybe it's not, but you're good enough singing the way you still going to make a person <laughs> feel that part. They could sing that mm-hmm. note or a couple riffs along, but a lot of these dudes just like, Ron Jeremy, like anchor man, like they can only do what's on the teleprompter. Right. For real. So they the haven't really studied the craft anyway. They don't know, you know what I'm saying? They don't know what to do. Right. And the problem, 
Get Ron Burgundy. <laughs> he went back to the porno. Right back to the porno. Come on now. Jack, with that Nintendo you, music. You better, get, you, better get, you better install some commercials or an ad in on this yeah, moment. Yeah. Hey, Go Smoke, ahead. I'm glad you're talking right now. Yes, sir. Because see, did, 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 and, and, cause, uh, Teo was making a really great point about you guys being vocalists and whatnot. Yeah. Fact or fiction? About your falsetto, mm -hmm. is it is it true that you got a falsetto so out of this world to the point when you record you don't even need headphones? <laughs> uh, Fact or fiction? It's it's not even the falsetto. I need the headphones mm. to hear the music, but I don't want to hear me in them. Mm. I'm like that when I record. I have to cut. You, I can't hear me in them headphones at all. I don't understand how he does whatever it is he does. Easy, because he played the piano. No, you yeah. said that yesterday. He played the piano. Yeah, no, no, you it already hear the melody. It throws you off. Yeah, it throws me off. The way that he records, though, it's like, I don't know how he do it. I'm like, he'll listen to it, right, and then won't have the he headphones on, on at all, and then record like like a million notes. I'm like, how the fuck? <laughs> so you you sing with timing in your in your head? I don't know what, I, yo, it's, I it's. Hear, I got the music playing, but I can't hear what I did. It, it sound like some Jay Z yeah, lion shit. Music, I think you'd be lying. They, 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 it's sound like impossible to the way they, they no, describe. I understand no, music. no, it's not because the <laughs> dude, <laughs> one of the dude that worked on beat. You know they say Jay Z don't goddamn like, write shit. He, I don't write shit. He did like vocals and shit. He would That's sing true. you. He sang you in the booth. He like sing this note, okay. and then he like mute that note out. And he give you another one, yeah. and mute that note out, and you be sitting there as he asking you to sing shit like, nigga, this shit don't go together. Mm -hmm. And then he tell you leave the room for like ten minutes, and you come back and you like, yo, you crazy? I don't even know how I fuck that shit. <laughs> right, that's yeah, a different yeah, type of ear. Yeah. Jazz, yeah, that's jazz really record dope. crazy too. He record like a jillion notes, and I'm like, where is he going with this? <laughs> <laughs> so who all grew up in church? Everybody, mm -hmm. hey, most okay. of us. Okay, so, really, you're a future kid. Yeah. So I can hear that. Did you guys have any merciful thoughts when you saw the the latest verses? Did you guys, as artists, <laughs> and no, I don't mean that disrespectfully. Shout out, that's a good question. You Shout know, out the to reason Mario, I, Baltimore stand up. Oh yeah, but the reason that's I ask that is because that even is. as an artist, you have those days where you are just not on point. Man, Did y'all feel sorry for them? Oh, 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 all these oh, niggas, oh, niggas put them. All these niggas put up memes. I don't, these the wrong niggas. Oh, all of them put up memes. Because those no, guys can sing. Every one of them put up memes. I think yes. all of you those artists me, can you sing. You Delicious. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Bad day. Your motherfucking problem. No excuses, baby. These niggas grew up talking shit and not fucking singing for real. These niggas grew up on the internet talking shit to each other. So you think that? Do you think? Are you saying you don't think that Omarion can sing? No. No. Nope. no. I like Shorty. Never I like him, but I'm just. Bad. I think they're here performing shit. Right. But that nigga don't need to go nowhere to try and sing with nobody. You need to burn that stage and do what Let he Let me say doing. this. I think he, he, if you put him in the right if you put key him or against tone. Them niggas, no, if you put him in the right way he need to be, he can sing if you put him where he need to be. I would just say right. that. Right. I think he's from where, where he need to be. Home. Home. You from Detroit. Where I you am. need to be? Clark says to some of the See, that's why I asked you who I went to church because it's a different. It's what totally I'm saying different. is, what I'm saying is, yeah. no, 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 fuck that. Though. Because I was working, I was doing a and &R when all them niggas came out, so I got to see another side of this shit. The motherfuckers sat around. They said, "Oh, this the new Drew Hill. These the niggas Drew going to bust y'all ass." No, they didn't. Oh, 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 yes, no, they they did. Did. Who was the new Drew Hill? B2K. No, they didn't. No, no. Hit the crazy part. Hit the crazy part. That's the fuck they did. So, so B2K performs in Baltimore, right? And then after the show, I took them to to my crib in Baltimore. And had like a bunch of girls, you know, for him. That was like their age or whatever, like twenties. And um, <laughs> I told you to clear the air. To clear the air. Yeah. What? No, uh, back then this was this was back That's when B two K was, <laughs> was a group. No, that was right. Yo, but the only one that didn't come you know to the to, the only one that didn't come to my house was uh, was a Marion. Mm. Now, when they got to my house, they were they were really uh, taken aback because the label kept telling them that we fell off. Right. So when they got to my house, I got you know an indoor pool with the dragon in it. And they were impressed. They was like, they no, they was they was thrown all the way off because they label was pumping them up, telling them they was the Drew the Hill label, killer. The label the label was literally saying that to them. To, to them. It was. The, and it then was the, the next thing. day. The group broke up. It was the thing, like, I'm dead serious. Like, it's not oh, like that. Like, I, I mean, I talk a lot in, of shit or whatever, but I'm like, for real, like, 
it was a lot of time because we was all doing what we was doing, mm -hmm. and it was a lot of people that came mm -hmm. up, and they was really trying to make it like, I don't know if they was trying to get motherfuckers to come back and do an album or whatever, but it was really like a time where they was like throwing all these people at us like, oh, they gonna take y'all spot. Oh, the, how the fuck you gonna take a spot that you can't even, you, you can't even see? I didn't even know the labels play with y'all like that. Come on, oh, man, yeah. they playing a lot of games. Yeah. Well, what's the technique behind it? Yeah, well, how do they win? Because they wanted us to go to make an album, and we weren't going to oh. do it the way they wanted us Reverse to do it. A lot of it is, time. a lot of it is, like you asked earlier about, was we in the church? Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's how you started, you know what I'm saying? Right. I started around um, a piano, right. you know what I'm saying? Without this a piano, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of these new cats, yeah. And I, no, I, and let me hold on, let me let me qualify <laughs> let me qualify my statement. I do not like Amarion. I think he's an incredible <laughs> performer. Mm -hmm. I think that he, you know, I think that he do some dope shit. I think that the problem is that when all this development and shit fell apart and whatever else, like you didn't set these artists up to really be able to do the shit that we came from. Like, they taught us how to sing and dance. We had to do push-ups, sit-ups, jumping right. jacks and shit while we were singing Tell right. Me. So when we jump, we don't sound like whatever. So, like, for real, like, a lot of it, even more than whether anybody could sing, these labels be setting these artists up to fail because they don't teach them how to go out on the road. They give mm -hmm. them a hit record, but they don't teach them how to sell that record. But you know even I mean? then, if they gave them a record that didn't sound, obviously, like Drew Hill, why do you think they could not perform at least that record on that versus show? Well, Studios, he didn't, he didn't invite two different things. Wait, but he didn't even invite. But they the had group. a successful screen tour. He didn't right, but he didn't invite the yeah, group. But, I'm gonna tell you, man. Let me oh, give you. Let me, let me, yeah, but let me give you yeah, something about bad. touring. Right, let yeah. me give you something right, about touring when you old. Wow. Let me give you something about touring when you've been around for a while. When them fans come to see that show, mm -hmm. you could really sound terrible. They come in to see nostalgia. So the they're gonna just get a performance. The minute you start singing something new, that's when they're like, oh, he old. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you, you know what I'm saying? You safe, for real. Like, you safe. For real. You well, as long as you come in and you singing the hits, right. you can literally not say nothing. That's right. And as long as they see you and you don't look like you've been using too many drugs and shit like that. Right. You, that's what I'm be, saying. That's what I fine. at least expected. Is but, that they would come sing is, their hits and it would be all nostalgic. But what I'm saying is if you can never sing your hits, you can't sing your hits. <laughs> when I when I sing, he also I, I didn't, didn't invite the group though. Look, I didn't watch Why? it. I didn't even think about it like yeah, this. I didn't watch you it. You didn't watch it, but I seen some of the yeah. The with social media, you didn't even shit, really right? have to watch so, it. So I mean, I'm be honest. Personally, mm. I was happy as fuck. Why? That, because okay, Drew Hill does to me. This is me personally. Drew Hill does not get the respect, appreciation, and accolades that I feel like they deserve. Now watch this. One of the reasons, by, one of the reasons that exists is because nowadays it ain't about talent no more. So the motherfuckers that's listening to and buying these records, this shit we doing, they don't have a clue what the fuck that is. Mm -hmm. So we're not able to even accrue what we deserve because right now it's a totally different ball game, right? So now that they putting up this what they want to call R and B on this versus, mm -hmm. as one of the memes said, it exposed niggas. And for real, and, 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 and like for real, I enjoyed the shit out of that. Like for real, <laughs> <laughs> because ain't no exposure over here. This well, is all real. Need to understand people. for real is like we well come said. from a place. Right. Well the said. problem is like with all the disrespect that they that. used to, you know what I'm saying? It was like one of them dudes, and I, I can't remember exactly which one it was, but you know what I'm saying. When you get, uh, be, if you upset about what ha happened, that's fine. Right. But when you get on your social media and you start saying, oh, no, nah, you know, because I jump on stage with any OG, no, stop, yo. I didn't know that they even went no, after they, OGs. They was doing, they, they, they get. Uh, don't do yeah, it, don't do it. Don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it. Like, I see everything. I and I, and I, and I, one thing about me, like, you know, like, you, like the little memes say online, one thing about me, I'm jumping in the nigga comment. Calm down, young yeah, you Thundercat. <laughs> yeah, you will. Uh, yeah, you will. No, y'all spoke down, to young our point that this is the music that we actually are missing. And it's not to even take away from them. I just think that this element isn't there. It's not as respected as it should be. It's coming back. Okay. Nah, and I mean, like, we down to, to do, like, like, we down to teach. We down to be like, look, man, this, like, 
when we put you to the side, like they tore, uh, we got taught by the same people to it. Boys the Man, Joe to see, no addition, and, and everybody else, that's great. Mm -hmm. Y'all had people behind y'all that said y'all was great as a difference. Wow. wow. I see what you Teach, just did. Bro. I see what you just goddamn did. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look him. Yeah, um, I was waiting for the swing. <laughs> 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 Hey, yo, 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 last, last time we went on 85 South, oh, I bro. had that allude. That was, well, 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 that's what happened then. Okay, cool. Uh, it was this story that you you uh, you had told. I would love for you to share this this Will Smith story about you were gambling with Will Smith and he took your money. Uh, Damn, so, uh, well, that, so look, if I had my backpack with me right now, I keep three dice in my bag because I don't know if you see CeeLo or, or Craps, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to work it out either way. So we um rehearsing for... Uh, Wild Wild West. So I'm talking shit like I always do because I'm young or whatever. And he's like, come on, man, we can shoot some dice or whatever. My man Big Tuck that used to be my security, you know, he know all them. So, you know, we go over on the side and shit, pull the dice out. This nigga took my fucking $600 from me in 37 seconds or some shit like that. Wow. And then I'm sitting there looking really? like a lost child and shit. And this motherfucker was like, nigga, you shouldn't have been talking shit for real. Yeah. And then right after he took my money, this motherfucker had a cranberry Bentley delivered to the goddamn set where we was at to <laughs> insult the injury. I was like, I have no money. This is, this is some bullshit. <laughs> but that's a great story. DM DMX <laughs> and um, Eve had, had drove, uh, drove me to that set that day. What was you doing hanging out with DMX and Eve? You know what? What, what was going on? I'm right not there? drunk today, so you ain't gonna get me with that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cisco, you be you be having a lot of like like uh, 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 myths and whatnot. This one particular myth, I need to know. I now I heard there was a a, a moment where. Suge Knight almost kidnapped you in the studio. What? Is this fact or fiction? No, no. Nah, I, I what was the situation? No, no, no. I went to go. I went to go <laughs> see Suge in the studio because I was working with some rappers, and I want to want them to. Was have... it even DMX? No, nah, it was just me. I oh. went. By, I went by myself. I didn't take security. Uh, and and you know I was like, hey man, I got some rappers coming out here. Now, I, I don't need no. I don't need them to have no issues. So, what can we do? And that's how I ended up on uh, Crooked Eye song. Did. Oh, right. Wow. He was like, little nigga, you got some balls. He was like, you came here by yourself? I was like, yeah. You came over there. Were you worried? No. You, you weren't worried about you, because you know, Suge, you, you, this was with Suge with Suge. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> but I was, I was in the Baltimore. elevator with him for about 20 <laughs> seconds, and it felt like two hours, and I swear I thought I was going to pee on my No, I mean, you know, we from yeah. Baltimore. He, he yeah. called me one night on the phone, and we was on two different coasts, and I was like, well, so where you at? <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you in California? Uh, I was balled up in the corner. And, yeah, oh, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do again? Oh, you want to talk to 50. Okay. I'll tell him tomorrow then. <laughs> was, yo, Ray J was there. <laughs> that, that, that makes sense. Ray J, can, can Ray J sing to you guys? Can I say something about Ray J? He's Brandy's brother, no Ray, disrespect. Brandy is, can sing. Yeah. Shout out to Ray J for keeping it 100. You know what? Yeah. I'm going to say this. Shout Ray out J to him. is my nigga. Mm -hmm. Like, Ray J is my nigga. I mean, like, from our way back in the day, like, going over the house, like, listening to records, like, Nokio, what you think about this? Mm -hmm. You know, blah, 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 whatever. I'm not answering that question. Hey, I, well, you saying. answered it by not answering. <laughs> by not answering. But I think Ray J can no, sing. What I'm saying is, no, what I'm I saying heard is, Ray J think, sing before. What I'm yeah. saying is, I feel like I feel like we gotta you you gotta you gotta deal with it from a space of us and them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. like he didn't cross the line as far as like talking shit after that little fiasco and you know whatever and all the way to the point where you making little jokes about yeah, he's you know, making shit fun of it Jordan. he's making light of it you know, it was some of them like it, and, and a man of these consummate businessman and everything else absolutely a lot of these other dudes though instead of just Mm -hmm. Taking it down. as it was or whatever, mm -hmm. yeah. and it's like, all right, cool. Like, we had a great time. Nigga, I got all these views. You weren't doing them. Talk shit about all them other niggas that weren't there. Mm -hmm. Some, a lot of these other dudes just took it to, like, their insecurities started coming out. Mm -hmm. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you yeah, know. But Mario saying? was straight Baltimore. Like, yeah. Mario yeah. made like Shout 17, <laughs> 17 <laughs> statements on, on that, that, that he popped up on Shane Worm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait, and, so they responded after that performance. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? It's just it was just like it was too it was too much. It was like, yo, you take a L. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You take a L sometimes. Like, yeah. you know, like you shouldn't have been singing against Mario. Right. Yeah, you don't play that. You don't play you that. You shouldn't game. have been singing against Mario. You should yeah. somebody whoever whoever the other little <laughs> you know what I'm saying, dude, you should have found no one. That's there. how that was supposed to no go. You know what? It was because as the audience, we thought that that would be a I didn't. I think I think Bobby. I don't think so who y'all think? About I think, it. I think so. Who y'all think should have won against Omari on then? Um, Ray J. Right. Yep. Okay. Yep. That would have been easy. Yep. But Ray homie. J doesn't dance. That no. And, and, and Mario should have won against Lloyd. <laughs> that was a good one too. Yeah, but I think they got think, the same I amount think, of hits. And they maybe Omari on and Lloyd. No. No. Because he can sing. Lloyd can sing. Oh yeah. my God! You guys are gonna Not stop saying Omarion oh, cannot sing. You, you, you I know you love sign that nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 it's gonna be the song. Shout out to Jacquees. But it's going down. Your body says like that song was so good. I'm gonna tell you who else sing it again. I ain't hear it. I ain't hear it. Go ahead. Go on. No, but really, you guys, you are you're not a fan of any of his singles. Now we ain't listening to you. You try to sneak that shit in. You try to sneak that shit in. Can I talk? Can I talk? Then let's just sing that shit again. No, you guys don't. Like, <laughs> they, he has really good songs. Know. You can say. What? Yeah! I don't know. She, she did like, listen. When she was on that flame of love, she oh fucked everybody head oh, up. Oh, I didn't know that. Hidden talent shit. Oh, I didn't yes. know that. She hit an octave so goddamn hard. What? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you be around yeah. my way. Her range yeah. is <laughs> amazing. Yeah. No, yeah. what? Yeah. Yeah. She's about it. I didn't know that. Thank you. Yeah, no, masterpiece. it's cool, but I, that's why I like good music. And there was some songs that I thought, oh, Marianne, I could hear the talent. Oh, now, they might not have taken them through the journey that you guys went through. And that's no fault to him if he was a young man. You know what I'm saying? If somebody no, told him that he was... Just, don't deflect. The niggas want to hear that, that note real quick. Oh, yeah. no. Niggas want to hear that note. You like no, that? No, I'm on this move with the drink, didn't she? Yes. Yes. She bought right, right, right on the move with your drink. <laughs> she was like, all of them were good for what they do. Right. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's what I mean. When you cross the line of that, though... That's when the problems come in. Like, Dig. if I know that I don't, if if I'm a, I don't give a fuck how many records I sold. Mm -hmm. If I know that I don't really be singing my whole song on stage while I'm doing all those routines, mm -hmm. I'm not going up against somebody that can, can that. sing for real. Acapella. That don't mean that you ain't singing in the studio, but mm -hmm. everybody doesn't mm -hmm. learn how to sing that song the way it was on the record right. and still do all that choreography. You got to pick one. Hey, it's a struggle. That's true. Uh, here go, here go. Uh, uh, pivot real quick. How do you decide? Because it's almost on the same subject. How do you decide uh, who closes? Oh, who who's headlining? We talking about shows? Yeah, oh, headlining show. We don't get to choose. That's the most choice. Listen, mm. well, we, we the most people's choice. <laughs> we, I was, I would say this. That we ain't got nothing to do with that, mm -hmm. and also. I'll be feeling like it's people that don't be wanting to do shows with us mm. because it's a chance that they might not close. Mm. Mm. I I I witnessed something one night. Y'all y'all I witnessed something one night in NJ Pack in New Jersey. Um I, I was backstage and it was Brandy and her manager was talking to y'all manager. Brandy wanted to close, but Kev was like Hell no. My niggas got so many hits and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and y'all end up closing. Shout out to Kevin Peck. Shout out to Kevin, <laughs> Shout out to Kevin wow. Peck. Wow. Holding y'all. Y'all got the manager with the most. I didn't even know that. I thought Brandon was so, going to get away. So what's the thing with the closing, though? Well, it's not, it's not really a big deal. Deal. That's when the seats be kind of empty. It's not really a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go first when everybody's thinking. It's ego. It's ego. It's an ego because thing. If you, if you really a singer, Mm -hmm. And you really love your voice. Yeah. You want to go in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For real. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not trying to close. Live, you still feel good. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes closing could be, it, it can fuck you up because everybody tied all the, the bullshit that already had. And they ain't really got no energy yeah, left. No who was on the show. Yeah. 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 I, tell you, I, tell you, I tell you what's <laughs> though. I tell you what's though, Jack. Hey, Y'all yeah. ever burnt somebody? Y'all ever burn somebody when it, like they want to they want to close? Listen, at the end of the show, I I, I, will, I will I will say this. So I'm not gonna say no names. <laughs> mm. We did do a show, and the promoter came and was like, "Look, such and such in the back. They 
They talking about they don't want to, you know, they got this song coming out. They got a single and da 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 okay. So, you know, us, we we don't care. We're going first. We're going second. We're going third. don't matter. We we like to get in, get out, you know what I'm saying, whatever. So next thing you know, we get off the stage. We're in the whole show, whatever. So we had to announce that we were taking pictures. So, like, yeah, you know, we're going to meet us in the back, Drew. We're going to take pictures about 10, 15 minutes, blah, 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 blah. So when we walk back out, the person that was talking shit was performing, but it was like two people sitting down. <laughs> Everybody else was in the line <laughs> to take pictures. <laughs> no, 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 really? No, 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 no. <laughs> if, you to, if you want to talk about it from that standpoint, it's, it's, definitely, it's definitely a lot of shows where people know who they coming to see. And if they don't put us at the right time in the show, they might not stay and watch. Yeah, and people, yeah, 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 yeah. don't no. talk to them. No. Talk to no. them. No. No. You don't. No, people, no. people got no. upset. No, no, no. That's yeah. money back. The, the, reason, like, well, the reason why, nigga, okay. is because I have years of talk. I talk shit all the time. I don't give a fucking fuck. I'm not worried a about nothing fuck. I didn't say here. I ain't worried about none of these niggas. And they, ain't nobody going to DM me. Ain't nobody going to say a motherfucking thing to my face. Mm -hmm. None of that shit. But what I'm saying is, like, it ain't no, like, like we don't be doing shows with these niggas, so it ain't even no need to motherfucker and give give him no give him no nothing. And that ain't even nothing against him, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? It's your problem that you don't you don't you don't want to have the motherfucking work. Well, that was watch, it, watch this, watch this. Whether you come on before us or after mm -hmm. us, it's your body. We hit, <laughs> I'm, gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it one thousand. Well, really? like when we hit the stage, we 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 gonna go out there and do what we supposed to do. Now, if we feeling a little bit disrespected. It's gonna be a little worse. It, like we got, we 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 got, yeah, we got little egos about this shit. Do you? I, I mean, we, I had fun. I don't know do what these animals are talking about. <laughs> like, really? I go and I try to spread love, R and B, rhythm and please. I don't know. If, see, if you see, come behind us. My wow. only goal is your funeral. From yeah. Yeah. I don't know what they talking about. With this group was to fucking outlast everybody. Dominate. Really? Have you ever traveled with a, a female group? Uh oh, yeah. uh oh, Cisco. Yeah. Okay, so who was a group that kept up with you guys? That was a female group. SWV. I knew you were going to say that. And yeah. that, uh, Destiny Child, they was on a bunch of. Yeah, yeah. Destiny Child used to open up for us back in the day when, when we was younger. Wait, they used okay. to open for you. Yeah. A lot of people used to open for us. Insane. 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 Yeah, do y'all watch? Where the movie? energy was actually hype no, and it was a good tour. Him. No, we was always, we, no, we ain't never really get to see nobody because, like, back then they had us on, like, super, you know, schedule. Like, you in your room until I call you, and then, like, you going from the room to the car to the dressing room. Mm. And and for real, we would be in the dressing room sleep till probably five minutes right before the show yeah, and yeah. shit like that. So we ain't really, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got to hang out with more people than we got to see, actually. Perform. Ashley, one day, 98 degrees, whipped our ass in football in the snow in Switzerland. <laughs> football in yeah, the snow you know, they Switzerland. Like, yeah, they came out. That was a flex. We come out and, you know, that we, we come out and we had on boosters pool. on and shit. Right, we These motherfuckers got on scullies and t-shirts and gloves. Right. You're white white boy <laughs> shit. Real <laughs> white boy shit. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Real right. white boy shit. So, we, I don't, I mean, we don't know if we could have really stood a chance for that because they, we had I had on a full snowsuit. <laughs> So I was running like, <laughs> motherfucker, yeah. motherfucker hit me. I was like, I quit. Uh, my face got my face. Uh, my face hit the snow. My face got hot. Yeah. You say it's a wrap. You just you just laid there making snow angels. Yeah, just not what I do for a little bit. He actually did Salute that. y'all. You but, know what I'm saying? All that motherfucking shit. Where y'all from? Fuck all that. Okay. But that was then. You guys get to actually see your performances mm. now, right? Uh, we won't. Sometimes we do, and that's what fuck up the show because somebody stops singing. Nah. Right, to watch really? the show. Really? Yeah. Like, like, for real, it, it, like, sometimes you can get so engulfed in the show that, like, we'll be looking at ourselves performing somebody, like, you might just stop singing. Like, I like us. Like, damn. Right, right. Really? Have a nice night. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that looked crazy last night, man. I was looking at people's stories and stuff. Oh, yeah. And then you just stopped. 
Yeah, just stop singing. You, you get the R and B Holy Ghost. It was like there's enough niggas singing notes. I'm gonna just watch. Yeah, lately. Right nah. <laughs> Is it because I mean, of the size all, of the we, group? We all fans of each other. You yeah, know, everybody yeah, yeah. respect each other's talent. So yeah. it's like sometimes you know, this one of the most amazing groups in the world. Yeah. Even though we try yeah. to keep it to the, you know to keep it script, you know sometimes it just throw us off because yeah. somebody might be having a great night with jazz most of the time. Has a great great night. So as we stand there listening to him, you know it's just like you said, Holy Ghost. Jazz, you're quiet. Are you always the quiet one? No, not all the time, but you know, right now I'm dealing with a little bit of pain, so I'm. I'm, I'm okay, I wanted wrong, to ask you, yeah, what happened? I don't know. What you was boxing like genuine. Who hurt you? Kiss the nigga, say who hurt you? You feel better already? Come on, man. Yeah, no, no, go ahead. But I need the libations. This is your one. No, yeah, but I, he asked what you drink. I said red wine. He's going to think it's okay. so gay of me. Oh, no, but he no, knows. This is what I do. So I mean, I think Praise I, is what he do. Yeah, this is <laughs> what he <laughs> do. Yeah. Have you guys ever tried to with Silk? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Silk just left. Um, one of the members, Jimmy Gates, just came to... um. KOD. Yeah, so Silk is who I could see you guys on stage with. They actually I, came I, and did a Christmas concert. Well, yeah. No, listen, I mean singing wise, they came and did a Christmas concert in my living room. Shout out to Silk. Got on the piano. Oh, damn. Damn. Yeah, damn. and damn. they were, I couldn't believe it. Damn. Shout out to Silk. I was like, they damn. sing. Damn. And they, now they no, can sing. No, they, do. they were singing. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Silk. Listen. Yeah. I heard a boss settle from one of them. I think it was John John or one John, of them. John and Louis. John, we John, tried to learn. Yeah, um, yeah John John. I freak, didn't expect um, that freak, from him. Yeah, he a beast. He a beast. We, we were supposed to do this talent show, and we tried to learn that song, and we all went horse. Trying to learn that song, we couldn't even do the fucking yeah, show. Wow. Yeah, that made them up there on ass note. Ain't nobody hitting that shit. Right. Sh you can hit it. Nah, I, ain't, I know I can't. Don't lie on me like that. Yeah, that, that high, I'm gonna let little G. So you're up there. Yeah. 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 I, I, I travel soprano. I, I travel a little bit. What's the note? Yeah, look, look, G got a hell of a note, man. No, he does. But no, John John will surprise you. John John. Oh, yeah, John John. Yeah, he was singing. I was like, wait, I thought you were just background. Oh, God damn. No, no. I didn't know. You know how they normally You're just playing on Marshall to me. No, I didn't think that. Yo, you about to tell us what happened with your arm, man? Man, I don't even know what the fuck happened with my arm. See, what happened was we was at KOD, right? Yo. Say making it rain. That's what happened to you? Yeah. His gum got oh. tired from flicking those ones. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. You just woke up and it was like that? Yeah, no, the last few days, man, I'm, something going on. Was it attached to a member of uh, your body? It was. Nah, he be killing that mic so hard. Oh. Like his thumb just, I didn't know yeah, it was no, the other <laughs> mic. I didn't, he didn't, he yeah, woke yeah. up. Oh, and my like, God. No, so I was just. You're just so bad. Just, no, we, that's not so what I was going bad. with. No, it was just that you said you didn't know. You know how you wake yeah. up? You're like, what was I doing when I was asleep? Vigorously right, right, right. masturbating. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Because what else would injure your hand in the middle of the night? Oh, I, no, I, I'd have been gripping the tight, bro. Oh, no. man. Hey, y'all don't know who was somebody? No, please. Oh, yo, who was somebody that y'all was surprised that came to see y'all show? Booker uh, T. Shit, the rascal. Booker right. T came Booker to and party yeah. with us. And his wife. And really? Booker T sung, I mean, Booker T sung every song. Every motherfucking song. Eyes closed, and shit was crazy. Yeah, but were y'all surprised? Hell yeah. Yeah. I, I'm a wrestling true. fan, niggas, ever since Ew. I was a baby, nigga. So when I looked at him, our, everything was fucked up. The whole word. song I was over with. <laughs> I looked over at him, I said, nigga, that's fucking tape. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck was going on, nigga. I was shit. I got so pumped that I threatened to slam him on stage. <laughs> oh, shit. I love WWE, nigga. Yeah, me too. I seen that nigga. That's a Hall of Famer, nigga. That, that, that's for Smoke. Yeah. Cisco, who's oh, the no, person? Oh, no, it was The Rock. Uh, the Rock, well, he the rock came. came to see your show? Oh, no, no, no. I said oh, I, I, I just said I met him. Oh. I just met The Rock. <laughs> okay, okay. Because he's my favorite wrestler. Got you. Because uh, back when I went um, on my solo stuff, I was, when I used to do promos, I used to like do it similar. Well, The Dragon instead of Well, The Rock. Nice. <laughs> he said, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. He just came back to life and shit. Hitman Hamlet. Hitman from Detroit. My people. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. He, 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 he died real fast. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of your daddy, thug. That's what's up. No, he looked more like Kevin Costner in a suit. Okay, okay, okay. That's, that's big. <laughs> no, my dad used to do security for Tommy. But he said, was he a thug? No. What was the what question that was in the um, My most memorable uh, person that came to see us probably was Clifton um, Powell. Because, that's kind of crazy. Because, for me, because I, I was always a fan of his and Friday. What's up, RL? What you oh, mean, nigga? Yeah. 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 You can't hide, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You can't hide. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. But yeah, no, that was cool because I, I imitated him real quick and I didn't think he was going to do it back. Well, he was like, what's up, nigga? You know what I mean? That, was, <laughs> that made my day, Jack. That made my day. Bro. Okay. Jazz? Yeah. Who was somebody that you were surprised that was in the audience that was a Drew Hill fan? Mm. Barack Obama. Get the Ooh, fuck out of uh, here. It was before he was president, though. That's, that count. Mm -hmm. No, he really did. That count. Oh, that's dope. Mm -hmm. Barack, Shaka. Um, it's been Shaka Khan? Who else? Yeah. Uh, oh, the, the, the Rock came to the. The Rock was at the show. No, I never the saw rock. The Rock at our show. Oh, no. he said he just met The Rock. He did. He was. Right. He never came to. He a never show. came out. Okay, got Yeah. Okay, got I, I met him at the, the Teen Choice Awards or something. God damn. That's all right. Uh, <laughs> no, Nokia. Huh? <laughs> what was the question again? <laughs> yeah. Who were you surprised was in the audience at your show? Man, I don't even be knowing who the fuck we on the show with half the time, so. But, I, yo, I, I, Jeff, I, no, I'm, I'm trying Justin to. Justin Timberlake like, used to sneak out and watch my show. No, you know what? No, you, 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 like, um, I won't say, like, surprise that I was surprised was a Drew Hill fan, but we did this show one day, and Bobby Brown just sat on stage man. the whole time intensely. That's just big. Just looking at the show. Like, and I'm in my head, like, am I fucking up or something? Like, the fucking, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he was just looking at, like, he was just breaking, you know what I'm saying, the whole shit down. So, you yeah. know, that that was definitely, like. We still you know, learning from New Edition, man. You they, know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, they the go. It's a new edition. Oh, yeah, they killed it. Like, 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 we so, like, we so used to giving respect to the people that came you know, before us that like it still be kind of like even if certain people speak now, you know, like when, when like I said, when Boys and Men came in a couple weeks ago, it was like, damn, these niggas can't all run for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, no matter how much time it go past. So, you know. Yeah, I was still learning from them. Too. Man, they they still got it. They they be killing. Who y'all listening to right now? Like, who's in your car? Have you got in? PJ Morton? DJ Premier, new album. Conway the Machine. Yeah, Conway. 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 You, Conway. We were just talking about it on the way over here, yeah? yeah. Westside. I've been All listening to a lot of like Zelda. DJ the Chicago he Kid. Just, like, that's dope. Yeah, like, he's, he's dope to me. Yeah, he think he can dress better than me. Me and that nigga be arguing all the time. <laughs> <laughs> he can, though, actually, bro. He can. Hey, Black. He, he said he can. <laughs> uh, uh, who was somebody you was surprised that came to the show? Y'all so I, bougie. I remember, I remember, <laughs> I remember, I remember um, Bobby said he was in Orlando, and I remember him standing on the side of the stage, and I asked him up, I said, why do he stand at the Yo, that shit was worth it. It was, was worth it. Some some like, he said it was worth it. Yeah. Wow. So, like, like, and, somebody you looked up to, you know what I'm saying? That made me feel good. He came up to you like, how does it feel to be me? Next nigga in the shade. That rain drops what? Fuck. Hey, listen, man. Hey, I appreciate y'all coming to fuck with me, man. I, I love y'all so yeah, much. Man. Thanks. I, and and delicious a pleasure to meet you. Oh, Likewise. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I seen your struggles. I seen everything, bro. Like, I'm still I just struggling. want to say I'm proud of you. Yeah. You know, like this right here. This right here. And then you got the listeners to come in, too. Right. Look at Trump. Oh, you showing up. Oh, look at Trump. Did I show off today? Congratulations, bro. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, you did. I showed off today. Yes, you did. Yeah. That's why, because you know, I know we talk way more than this, but she got me nervous. Yeah, go no, ahead. No, she's not nervous. I'm fanning out right now. Like, okay. I mean, I figured I talked too much on the 85 South show. I, so I was just kidding. <laughs> yo, yo, you were very conservative today. I can't even front. No, nah, man, because... Because I did a lot. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. You, you killed that shit, bro. Yeah, I, 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 you, you know, you killed that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Man, don't okay. be blowing his head up, okay. goddammit. No, no, but so, like, for like, real, like, like, I think, like, it, I mean, I always get looked at as, like, the corn spokesman, spokesman, you know, whatever. Mm. So sometimes I just feel like it'd be certain shit that need to, you know what I'm saying, get said. Plus, like I said, I talk shit all day long. I don't know, what, we gonna fight? No, nah, we gonna go smoke some weed, you know what I'm saying, whatever the fuck else, you know, we gonna do. So it's like, when we get to, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it depends on what we're doing. The day I felt like I ain't need to say too much because I said nothing. Like, for real, the problem be like, I'm, I'm going to say some real shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I tell motherfuckers, I ain't grow up with the internet. I grew up into the internet. Right. Mm. So it's like, I'm saying the same shit I say to you in front of you, and that sometimes I know I might say some shit, and if I see the wrong shit, if I see a motherfucker, it's going to be like, yo, what was it? What's... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, 100%. You know, like, we got to balance it out today. We eat, it's Sunday. See, last time it was Sunday. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> last time it wasn't Sunday. It's not Sunday. And like, yeah. I, 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 see, what I really thought was I needed to keep it down because I I told you I played, I prayed in the strip club today. So I'm trying, <laughs> trying, to, trying, to, keep my, trying to keep my, my yeah. shit to a minimum today. He know your heart. I already did a lot. He knows what I want. Come on now. <laughs> he is a crap. Shout, shout, out to, shout out to RL and Nick. Shout out to RL, yes sir. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah, he's hey, thank you for coming Sweet. through, bro. Absolutely, I appreciate you having me, man. Uh, uh, y'all ready to sing a little bit? Man, yes. Y'all want some little ditty? That's what we do, man. Oh my goodness, come on, just do beauty. What we gotta do is that walk by me every day. Oh Lord, forever sing. The woman that stole my heart And beauty is her Sing name I hope that I can make you mine For another man steals your heart And once this beauty is mine I swear we will never be apart You are so beautiful I know he's doing it So you just can't say you're real or something. You got to be mad. Yo, Drew Hill came through, man. He's my player partners, my homeboys, man. Yo, it went down in a major way, man. Hey, I love y'all. Love you too, I do too. Oh, my God. Oh, we in the love in the trust tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus on the main line. Tell, tell him what you want. Just yeah. tell him what you want. Call, call, him, call him up. Man, tell him. Till the next time, man. Yo, New Jack, Fuller City. Yes, sir. I'll see you in a minute.